Ernie Johnson joined by Shaquille O'Neal. Kenny the Jet Smith, thanks for tuning in. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sport. Tonight we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Houston Rockets at Toyota Center. And for Houston, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. Houston is a team that can put up numbers in a hurry, no question about that. But with the amount of three-pointers they take, Kenny, do they really, I guess, rely too much on the long well, ball? Some could say that because, you know, 40% of their shots that they make come from three-point land. That's an incredible amount when you have a guy like Dwight Howard in the post and you have guys in the post that like to score. So uh, they might be a little three-heavy, though. No, not might. They are three-heavy. They need to understand inside-out wins championships, especially there in Houston. They took a lot of threes, but they were not great. They only shot 35% last year. They need to get the ball inside. Tip-off is coming up shortly. We go courtside right now to Kevin Harlan. Just a great look at the metropolis. That is Houston, Texas. The Oklahoma City Thunder on the road as they take on their Western Conference rival in today's game. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some terrific NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan. Joining me, Clark Kellogg. What's Anthony. good, guys? It's the Core 105 back with some more NBA 2K16. Hopefully, I can win this time, and I fucked up. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So the Thunder Five right now. The rugged duo of Ibaka and Adams in the middle. Andre Robertson out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Durant and at the threesome. Well, you knew something was amiss with Durant last year. They eventually shut him down for the entire season after he was injured, which was the safe thing to do and Greg, the right thing to do. Absolutely. When you have a franchise player trying to work back from injury, no need to try and get a few more games from him at the risk of derailing his career. Oklahoma City on D. Lawson kicks to Harden. Back to Lawson. Baca against Howard. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Boy, did he burrow his way in there and the D just sort of backed off. Rovers on the pass to Durant. Westbrook against Lawson. Outside Westbrook. Down low. Ibaka finishes to Westbrook. And the rebound goes to Howard. And the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot. Harden has a wide open look. Oh, oh come on. He's disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Robertson can't hit. Good rebound, Harden. Two or three here to start off the game. Ariza has the open look. That is in there. Austin with the assist. Ariza's got his first points in this one. For Oklahoma City, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. And for long stretches of the season, the Thunder, they had a short bench early on through the injury and just having a short rotation. They, they did change things up, though, as they went through that regular season. Here's Westbrook, Ty Lawson making his last shot. And Westbrook, here we go, and he gets the bucket. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there, and... A little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Well, for the Thunder, Greg, you're talking about, they did have to go to their bench more and more. And Clark, as the season wore on, their bench players were playing a lot of minutes. Yeah, actually, they ended up in the top 10 in bench minutes played. Um, the trades they made at the deadline helped clean depth to the team. Thank you. They took advantage of it. You know, maybe save that fadeaway move for when he really needs it. Thunder trailing by five. Oh, I guess he really needed it then. 
153 left here in the opening quarter. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And Howard, here, you're killing me. For the Rockets. That mid-range shot has been a weapon for them up to this point, fellas. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. And the Thunder making a switch here. Ennis Canner's checked in for Steven Adams. Collison comes in for Serge Ibaka. Dion Waiters checked in for Roberson. And DJ August no, subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And now in transition is Brewer. Here we go. Houston moving it around. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. Beverly, the pass to Brewer. Jacks up a three. Shots good. Brewer's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. They got themselves in front with some outstanding shooting right off the bat. It's been a complete technical dominant performance out here. They are in a zone. Now here's Collison. The feed to Durant. I wasn't even close to stealing that. Durant's gonna have to go that way. Here's the three. Good. You know, it's hard not to think of great shooting when you think of Kevin Durant. Okay. What he's really worked on over the past few years, though, is his playmaking. He's averaging four to five assists a game these days. Impressive. And here's Harden following the three from Kevin Durant. Jones. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. I tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. It really has, and they've created a lot of high percentage shots in the paint here already. Now here is Augustine. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. There's a screen by Canner. All alone. Rebounded by Capella. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Harden sets the pick for Beverly. Harden left side. And the layup falls. Harden's got his second bucket of the game to go. You know, huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. Durant just inside the line. That's good on the jump shot. He was going to probably Durant's make got that six. either way. It's got to be nice for them to know that game in and game out, his offense is going to be there for them. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Houston on top. They lead by six. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. All right, come on. And now let's hear from Ty Lawson talking about the balanced attack of this Denver Nugget team. We do have a team type of game. You know, everybody is scoring spread out, rebounding, everything spread out. So, you know, even from the bench, you know, it was definitely a team type game. Well, that was the game plan a couple years ago when Denver was good enough to make the playoffs and Ty Lawson was at the control. All right, Rocket Girls, though to sustain with the elite teams, uh, say like the Warriors or the Rockets. Ty Lawson, a, a solid, dependable player in our league, but this is still a league where you need your superstars to win rings. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. Let's quickly I heard the way we're going to keep can. So I spoke too soon. And we've really seen them get out and establish a real nice rhythm offensively in this game. Yeah, and they're finding ways to score, multiple ways, playing well and uh, sharing the ball, just operating good at the offensive end. Cody Eunice and Howard, the post pair, Austin out there with Corey Brewer. And it's a reason in at the small forward. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Well, one thing about Ty Lawson is he's very good at attacking the defense. Gets inside without a problem and knows how to set up teammates. Adams, he's checked in for Cantor. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Doing good Andrew so far. Lawson, he is great when he attacks. He does obviously create well for his team on drives. Uh, interesting player, certainly. Uh, the play with the team. Oh, good pass. A good point. And, you know, last season, Lawson averaged about 13 points for his team. Off of Just because it was drive. a good pass doesn't that mean we can't rebound. Would be a direct result of him attacking the rim. That's second in the league. 
a stat that only trailed James Harden. I think that would surprise some people. Yes. So it's the Rockets now. The Thunder making the shot. I don't really know much about Monty Yunus. Here's Monty Yunus. Oh, I guess that works, works too. Monty Yunus. Yunus has got the lead up to eight now for Houston. Four of their last five makes came off of a high quality shot inside. That's my fault. Well, really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Here is Howard, following the score by Serge Ibaka. Singler against Ariza. Oh, he's flopping. Let's it fly from 18. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Robertson dishes to Westbrook. Adams outside to the middle. That's uh, I wasn't paying attention. Down to four on the bucket from Singler. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And, and I think they should continue to work the ball down low, Clark. It's really going to free up their outside shooting. Now here's Ariza. Back to Lawson. Howard setting the pick for Lawson. And he uses the glass on the way. I don't know how he made that, but good shot, though. Or layup. You know, Hall of Famer and three-time champion Kevin McHale, the Rockets coach, did nothing but find success and win as a player. And, you know, that's been the same song for him as a coach. And Westbrook, here we go. He missed it. That's an example there, guys, of contesting the shot and corralling the board. That's really all you can ask of a guy at that end of the floor. Lawson kicks to Monte Unis. And there's the defensive three-second call. And for coach Kevin McHale, last year was his best. A lot of people thought he could have been easily the coach of the year, leading the Rockets to their third best regular season. Oh, my God, I actually got that and, and Kevin, with McHale, he's got this team improving every year. His team's win totals have risen as well statistically as, as I think, becoming a better team. Wins aren't always necessarily what determines how good you are. And the Thunder making a switch here. Nick Collison's checked in for a backup. Durant comes in for Kyle Singler. Waiters, he's checked in for Andre Robertson. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Didn't know what to do. And the Thunder making a switch here. Cantor's checked in. <laughs> 144 left to play in the first half. Augustine against Beverly. Collison with a screen on Beverly. No. Yes. I'm shocked that it didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Here's Beverly, and he lays it straight in. What a drive there. It didn't bother him at all to have a much taller defender hanging all over. Augustine passes to Cantor. Feeds it to Augustine. Here's Collison, and it's good. Caught through contact, it's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Really, they've backed off of working it inside. You guys got to box not, out, man. I'm telling you. Inside as much as they did earlier in the game, and, and I think they've got to get back to that. Well, looking back on last season, you could see the Rockets were tough at home. They just were relentless at going at teams. Yeah, how about a 30 and 11 record last year? And a lot of close ones for them, but that home crowd at times could just really will them to victory. As it did help in the series against the Clippers last year in the playoffs. And, you know, for Houston's wins at home, a lot of it had to do with their three-point shooting. I mean, they shot an average of 35% from behind the arc at home, but kept their opponents to under 30% on the year in Houston. And, and, guys, this is what makes Houston so good and why they've been so good for so long. In the last 31 seasons, they've only had two losing seasons. Only team in the league to do that. Here's Durant. No luck. And Houston the other way now. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Beverly dishes to Capella. Kicks it to Harden. Collison against Jones. 
Back to Harden. Six on the shot clock. Here's the screen. Goes up the baseline. Oh, come on, get in there. They got the shot they wanted off of that pick, but it just doesn't fall. Yeah, it didn't go down, but you'll take that shot every single time, Greg. That's good offense. And that concludes the first half. Rockets lead. I don't know why the game froze, we'll so don't ask. Have time to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Houston holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They have a solid eight-point lead. All right, Big Diesel, your take. Well, Ernie, Kenny, the offense was running woo, really well, and their shooting percentage was outstanding, and it wasn't just luck. It's because the offense never allowed the opposing defenders to get comfortable. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Oklahoma City? Can this team please get fired up on defense? I mean, get angry, get upset. Guys are way too soft and giving up way too many good looks. At some point, you got to draw the line in the sand. Be like, okay, who's crossing this line? If you're coming over here, I'm taking a hard foul, and I'm going to resist you on defense. And that's it for halftime, as the second half is just about to get underway. See you after the game. scoring night for him and oftentimes when he puts up that many points in the first half he follows it up with an even better second half we'll see if that's the case here and on the floor for billy donovan as we get into the second half come on harden damn it andre robertson out there with russell west and it's adams and at the five roaming the paint now you think back to the 2009 draft the thunder selecting james harden third overall I didn't know who I wanted me to guard. It switched. Yeah, Tyreek Evans, Kevin, taking a pick after him, won Rookie of the Year. But with time, Harden's talent has proven out, and you could argue he should have gone first in that draft. And here is Howard following Russell Westbrook's three. Ariza kicks to Lawson. Houston needs to get a shot. Fires from deep. Yeah, that works too, I guess. Last touch by Lawson. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Outside Durant. Fires for three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Have they not heard? That this guy is unbelievable. That's a layup for him. Now here is Lawson. He's got eight. It's oh, come on. Fast break. Here they come for the tie. The kick out to Westbrook. And the Thunder another three. Great outside shooting fueling this run. And the D is getting bombarded. They haven't been able to slow them down the least bit. There's Monte Eunice. Jacks up a three. Offensive rebound. Howard, the pass to Harden. Oh, good. Oh, okay. He'll go to the strike for two. When well, you think of James Harden, you don't think much about his athleticism. His strength, though, is exceptional for his position. Yeah, I think that's his greatest attribute. His ball handling's good, but it's his strength. He's able to run through contact. The Brewer is checked in for Trevor Ariza. And Oklahoma City also making a switch. All right, guys, let's get a stop. Let's get this lead back. And Harden able to get wherever he wants on the court. I mean, he can muscle you, but he's also got that Euro step and, and all those moves that just leave you in a dizzy. And, and, guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. 
And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on. White Howard is just, he just can't do anything for me down there. You, you think about how elusive he is, but at the same time, he's a guy that seeks contact. I mean, he'll entice a defender to try and reach in, and a master salesman when it comes to getting those reps to blow the whistle. And that one's good. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. Good defense, Ty. Good defense. Those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. A different look for Oklahoma City. Cantor is checked in for Adams. And it's Waiters in for Roberson. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Lawson kicks to Harden. This is to Howard. The jump hook. Ah, oh, come on. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Deep two from Singler. Here's Cantor. Good defense, Howard. Yes, finally. Puts one up from 19. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Lawson. 12 points for James Harden. Under trailing by five. Westbrook kicks to Singler. There's the pick. Stolen by Harden. Here's Brewer. Waiters. Oh, that was a miss. stupid shot. They could end every possession with that shot. They'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. Nope, good defense. Good defense. Westbrook against Harden. Shot clock at six. Second shot opportunity. And Ivanka with the layup. Battled with battle Russell Westbrook for that. Come up with it. You're guaranteed a high quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Lawson outside. Now the dish to Howard. There's a screen by Moni Yunus. Here's Brewer. That was a bad shot. Oh, I guess I take that back. Brewer's got six. And certainly they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. And Greg, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And now an eight point rocket lead. Boy, they've gone on this run and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as It'll necessary. Be Dwight Howard to try to keep in his canter off the glass if the Rockets can play some defense. 19 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Clock is clearly on their side. Exactly, and they can hold it for the last shot, and I think they will. Here is Lawson. Back to Harden. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. And Clark, now's the time to do it. Continue to attack that rim. Oh, man, I thought he was going to make that. And we've watched three so far in this one. The Rockets on top as they end the third quarter on a 15-6 run. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. This game is, it's not close, but it's definitely not out of reach. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. All right, let's do this. Thunder trailing by eight. Beverly and Harden, they're the backcourt. Then there's Terrence Jones. Then it's Trevor Ariza. And it's Capella in at the four slot. That's the five for Houston right now. Now here is Augustine to the paint. Stolen by Harden. It's still Harden. Outside Ariza. Here's Harden on the win. And Houston. There's no defense. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for Houston? The activity level defensively, I, I've really been impressed with. They've been an attack mode on the defensive end. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. Good defense. Really run the break well. 
all alone. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's a beautiful jam. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it, too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. And that was Kia bringing you the close-up on the big-time play. Here's Roberson, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Nothing fancy there. Didn't need it. Nope. His only concern right now, Clark, is getting the points on the board, and I don't mean style points. I like the simplicity. Well, there's also style just with the fact that he's able to have that kind of a finish, though. Still, I like that pretty one-handed flush. Here is Harden following the score by Oklahoma City. Four on the shot clock. Shoots it. A reason. Ah, uh, bounce in there for me. Under trailing by 10. And now here's Durant, the best. Break nope, you ain't that special. A reason against Adams. Here's Capella. Banked in off the glass. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10. Good job, guys. Good job. Off assist. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Yeah. Guys, before last season, Trevor Ariza signing a four-year, $32 million deal with the Rockets. Big free agent get for the team. And, you know, they wanted to re-sign Chandler Parsons, Kevin, but with his departure, in comes Ariza, and Trevor is a quality replacement. I mean, a terrific wing defender, and he's a nice spot-up shooter as well. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, over the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle. He's not pleased with the careless turnovers offensively. He's saying, listen, we've got to get shots. It's as simple as that. We have to play smart and value the basketball. Kevin, did it sink in? Thank you, Doris. And, you know, you compare their games. Ariza a bit more limited, maybe, offensively than Parsons, a few years older. But he's also a better defender and, and also better at playing without the basketball. Remember, you got five guys out there, only one ball. Sometimes your chemistry can improve when a guy doesn't need the basketball to be effective. Thunder trailing by 14. Now we definitely know that this is going to be in the hands of Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant can't score right now. He's cold. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. I don't know. Did they, did they add the hot and cold feature in this game? Oh, James Harden left wide open. At least as I look at it. Harden, that's good. And, you know, for the Rockets, a nice pairing with, with James Harden and, and Trevor Ariza. Ariza, a spot-up shooter and defender, while Harden, arguably, the premier offensive creator in the league. I mean, they really complement each other well. And here is Durant. James Harden getting it to go from deep to end the run. The layup missed. Durant can't get anything Rockets going. Leading by 17. Shot from the wing, and it's Houston with another. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. That's really told the story today, guys. I mean, throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and then finish. More active and more physical down low. That's what's really been the difference thus far. Now, here's Beverly. On the wing, Jones. Adams defending. Oh, but, uh, yes, sir, okay. That drops. And that's now 25 points for James Harden. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, it's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. Durant. That's good. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Rockets. You're right there, Steve. And one area that stands out that uh, we've seen tonight from them, Clark, their aggressiveness in getting steals, something I know that you really value yourself. Well, it deflates the opposition when you can be pesky defensively, and then it sparks your offense, and that's what happened for them. When you have the type of effort we saw tonight, it's hard to overcome that kind of defensive pressure. And what a huge standout performance it was for Hart. He affected the game so much with the way he was able to come out and get steals and extra possessions for his team. And so here is Oklahoma City. The Rockets making the shot. Augustine, no luck. The clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. 
29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jones dishes to Beverly. It's Ariza on the wing. Releases. 